The lake is named after the Caddos, who lived along the waterways many years ago. They were friendly people, and pretty smart too. They were farmers, hunters, and fishermen. According to Caddo legend, the lake was formed by an earthquake in 1812. The exact origin, however, is cloaked in mystery, with many scientists believing that the lake formed when the water backed up from a huge natural log jam. This is the largest cypress forest in the world. It is a soggy cocoon protecting and nurturing hundreds of types of mammals, birds, reptiles, and fish while keeping most of modern life at bay. Spanish moss drips from every limb, a fluffy beard of gray vegetation that swallows up sound and wind. Only the sounds of wildlife penetrate the shroud of silence. No inland waterway in Texas holds a higher diversity of native life. More than 40 species native to the lake and its wetlands are threatened or endangered. Like many ecological treasures, Caddo has been routinely abused, but it is remarkably resilient. In the mid-1800s, it was a haven for outlaws, saloons, and brothels. In 1909, pearls were discovered, starting a major pearl rush. In 1911, the world's first overwater oil platform was completed. Oil derricks sprang up throughout the lake during the turn of the 20th century. The lake is currently under siege by a fast-spreading aquatic fern, giant salvinia. Accidentally introduced into the lake by boaters, giant salvinia doubles in size every two to four days, rapidly killing off life below the surface. Extensive efforts are being made to control this weed. If you want to experience a refuge from the 21st century, visit Caddo Lake on the Texas-Louisiana border. My campsite at Caddo Lake State Park overlooked Sawmill Pond. It was so beautiful and relaxing, evoking a sense of peace and tranquility. In addition to exploring the waterways, numerous upland trails provided excellent hiking opportunities.